morning, morning Kennel Bye. It's Tuesday, April 21st. I'm Jen. And I'm Josh. And, and here, here are your morning, are your morning announcements. announcements. Last week, Monday Show introduced a contest in which whoever sends the best or funniest tips on what to do while at home will win Den merch and have their video aired on Monday Show. Please send your 40 second or less video to Tessa at tmerk1 at ocdsb.ca. Are you interested in running for an executive position on student council? If so, applications are now available at kernelby.com and due May 1st. A reminder for students to check their school emails and manage back regularly. Please contact your teachers if you have any questions. Be sure to stay safe, Cougars. We miss you and can't wait to see you soon. Hey Jen, what have you been up to to stay busy? Well, actually, I've been working on my handstands trying to regain my gymnastic skills and walking my dog as much as he wants. What about you, Josh? That's great. I've also been trying to stay active. Speaking of which, here's your sports desk. Welcome, Welcome back, back sports, sports fans. fans. I'm Tip. And I'm Jimmy. And, and this is your sports desk. desk. Let's get into some sports activities. Jimmy and I are so excited to be back at the desk, working from home for a little while, but nevertheless, back with you guys. We wanted to tell you guys how much we've missed you. Let's start off by checking in with two D1 athletes that are pursuing sports post-secondary. Welcome back, everyone. We are here with Rene Conga and Nick FC. Welcome, boys. I'm happy to see you guys looking well. Oh, appreciate it there, buddy. You know, yeah. same here. Yeah, I know. I hope you guys are doing well as well, you know, just chilling. And, yeah. <laughs> so, Rene, can you tell me a bit about what you're going to be doing next year? Um, Next year, I'll be attending prep school in Connecticut. I mean, obviously, like with the virus and everything, we, we don't know, like, how everything's going to unfold. But hopefully, you know, by fall, everything is resolved and I'll be able to attend uh, campus and just play my senior se my second season, senior season out and you know, maybe collect more offers because right now i got four. So four offers, Renee. You're going to Connecticut. That sounds completely amazing. Nick, what about yourself? I don't know if you guys ever aired the one we did before there, but it was one, you know, talking about I was going to St. John's and he was going to do his – he had just gotten his Rutgers offer. And uh, well, as of right now, I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. No one does, right? We're all in the same boat here. But, I'm, you know, I'm just training as if I was going to go down for mid-August when I would be going down normally. And, you know, and contact the coaches and all that, making sure I'm getting prepared mentally and physically and just hoping that I get, get to go down on time, on time you know. All right, boys. So uh, congratulations to you both. Uh, we, we all hope you stay in the best of health and uh, we hope that uh, you can, you know, complete your plan successfully. And we hope that you can uh, go to school next year and, and play the sport that you love. So uh, take care, all you boys, and uh, have fun. Thanks, boys. We appreciate you coming out. Josh got the chance to sit down with Joey, coach for the U Ottawa GGs and Titans Performance, to learn some tips to stay active and healthy. Hey Cougars, I'm here with Joey, the lead performance coach for the U Ottawa GGs and the owner slash head performance coach at Titan Performance. Thanks for joining us, Joey. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So nowadays when most of us are at home and we don't have access to a gym or much gym equipment, what kind of activities can we do with little to no gym equipment to stay physically active and healthy? I, I, I honestly, I think... Uh... Uh, it, it's all about working on your foundations. I know with us at U Ottawa at Titan, our training system, we focus on three primary performance pillars uh, with speed, strength, and mobility stuff. Uh, from a mobility stuff, uh, the, uh, the things that we kind of promote, uh, especially at Ottawa U, is our movement habits. Uh, so one thing that we do on a daily basis, we call it our full body mobilization. It's a head to toe routine. Think of it as like if you guys got a cat or a dog when they wake up, that big stretch that they do at the beginning, you know, they do one big stretch and they maintain their mobility. And from our theory is you get good at what you do consistently. And if you're constantly doing a routine where you, you know, you go through your neck circles, your shoulder circles, you get your spine bending, front, forward, twisting, 
you start bending those legs forward to the side, opening up those hamstrings. You work on your feet, you work on your wrists. Uh, you know, spending five, 10 minutes a day daily from a mobility standpoint goes a long way. Uh, from a strength speed standpoint, again, it's, it's all foundations. A lot of the stuff that we do from a strength perspective is body weight stuff. So working on things like push-ups, working on squats, single leg type movements, all of those things are going to be super applicable. Uh, and then from a speed perspective, you know, even at home, uh, you can work on, you know, footwork type drills like ladder drills. There's tons of, you know, where you don't need uh, equipment. Uh, you can also get outside, do some sprint intervals. You can do some jogging. Uh, for me, whatever you're going to do, I think you want to make sure that you have some kind of a fitness component to it though, right? Mobility, you want kind of low slump, like things that are a little bit uh, slower paced where you guys are holding uh, end ranges of motion and getting comfortable there. But then when you get into your strength and speed stuff, maybe do a little bit of foundational work, uh, but then get into things that are going to develop your fitness, like EMOMs, Tabatas, uh, things that just keep you on pace for your workout. So you know, a 30 minute workout doesn't take uh, 60 minutes. I know for us, uh, the ways that we're promoting uh, our fitness and giving ideas to our athletes, uh, at Ottawa U, our Instagram page is at GG underscore performance. Uh, and there, what, uh, we, we have a, a live workout that's hosted every day by either myself or one of our senior coaches who work with our varsity programs. Uh, they run at 8.30 in the morning and are, and are left in our story for 24 hours. Uh, at Titan Performance, we do the same thing on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, and we've also started uh, our Zoom community, our online virtual gym, uh, where people are able to come in, check out a session. Uh, we've got session for, uh, sessions for uh, football players that run Monday to Friday at 6 o'clock. Uh, we've got uh, athlete sessions that run Monday to Friday at 1 o'clock. Uh, and then for our younger kids, our 8 to 13-year-olds, we have uh, Build the Athlete program. And for our adults, we have our group personal training. So there's tons of options. The, the, the Zoom sessions are actually really cool in the sense that, you know, in a live Instagram session, you guys are watching us kind of perform and we're talking, we're trying to coach. There's really no interaction. Uh, and in these Zoom classes, uh, it's really cool because, yeah, you get to see us, uh, you know, demo and give instruction. But then the coach gets to sit down, gets to see how you're actually performing and provide some feedback. That's awesome. And I know doing a few of your, uh, your live workouts and a couple of Zoom from Titan, uh, that you can definitely break a sweat and uh, really get a good workout on even just from home with no equipment. So that's awesome. And uh, how much should we be doing a day to stay active and healthy? To, to me, like you guys got to be moving every single day. Like we're normally out of the house, we're walking, you know, we're getting out, we're, we're physically active. Now, like, there, there's that, uh, that sitting disease that's, uh, that's out there, right? I know for myself, I'm, I'm freaking at my desk all day, and all of a sudden, I've got these, you know, shoulder pain. I've got things that I just don't normally deal with. Um, with all our athletes at U Ottawa, all our members at Titan, we say that you should be active for at least 60 minutes a day, okay? That could include a walk around the block. That could include, you know, a workout, a live workout, whatever, but... You know, you got to get off your butt and you got to keep moving or else your body's going to go the other way. Like I said, you get good at what you do consistently. You sit on the couch all day, your body's going to get real good at sitting on the couch, right? It's going to get nice and tight. It's going to get plump. It's going to get plush. Uh, but if you're moving all day and, you know, you're challenging your body consistently, you're breaking that sweat, like you said, you know, you're challenging your body, uh, well, then it's going to grow the other way and, and you're going to feel a lot better. It's yeah. a great opportunity to establish some new habits that hopefully once this is all over, you can continue with those uh, for a lifelong. Yeah, that's awesome. I totally agree. And uh, last but not least, do you have any nutrition tips for us? Um, from a nutrition standpoint, it's definitely not my forte, but I've had the luxury of being around uh, like many uh, amazing nutritionists and dietitians through university, uh, through uh, the, my time in the CFL. Uh, and some of the best things, again, it comes back to what are your habits? What are you doing on a daily basis? And I think getting a, a consistent routine of what do you eat for breakfast? When are you eating lunch? When are you eating dinner? What are the similar snacks that you're having on a consistent, on a daily basis, as opposed to just binging with chips and all that stuff, I think, I think goes a long way. Some simple things are don't drink sugar, right? So don't drink pop, don't drink juice, like stick to water and maybe coffee without sugar. Um, you know, some other things is watch those sugar levels. Sugar goes right to your belly. So you just want to make sure, uh, and you're very conscientious about how much sugar you're putting into your system. For sure. 
Well, thank you again for joining us, Joey. It's been great sending it back to the desk. Thanks, Josh and Joey, for those helpful insights. Well, CB, that's it from us today. Until next time. This is your Sports Desk, signing off. My name's Ian Mendes from TSN 1200 here in Ottawa, and you're watching Sports Desk on Cougar Vision.